Knights of the Zodiac was a movie adapted from an anon titled Saint Sia, which told the story of the goddess of war, goddess Athena, who was reincarnated in the body of a young girl named Sienna, and an orphaned youth named Saya was destined to become a knight who would protect her and save the world. Thousands of years ago, gods lived on earth and ruled over humans. Goddess Athena, the goddess of war and wisdom, had the power to destroy humanity. But in fact, Goddess Athena protected them. The formidable knights then sacrificed themselves to save Goddess Athena by utilizing Cosmo, or the power from the stars. As a result of the terrible battle between the gods, all the gods left the earth and are now only a myth among humans, while Goddess Athena, who died 18 years ago, has reincarnated into a baby girl, a knight in golden armor gave his life to protect the baby. Finally, the baby was found by a husband and wife and then adopted. The scene moved to an orphaned youth named Saya searching for his sister Patricia, who has been kidnapped. When Saya was little, he constantly practiced martial arts with Patricia. As a responsible older sister, Patricia was always patient in teaching Saya and protecting him. But one night, Patricia suddenly behaved strangely and told Saya to hide in the cupboard. Then a mob attacked Patricia and took her away. Still a child, Saya only watched it inside the closet, feeling very scared. Since then, Patricia had never been seen again, and Saya had always tried everything he could to find his sister. As an adult, Saya became a fighter in an illegal arena. Even though he was often underestimated, Saya was a reasonably reliable fighter. He had a martial characteristic, fighting with movements like he was dancing. His boss, Cassios, didn't like seeing Saya's martial arts style, so he went down to the battle arena and dueled against Saya. He wanted to prove that Saya's martial arts style would not be enough to defeat him. And sure enough, in several blows, Saya immediately lay helpless. Suddenly, Saya unleashed a strange blue light during a fight with Cassius in a fighting ring. It was his Cosmo. Saya managed to turn things around with that power, but he chose to go. In his room, Saya met Decrates. He said that someone wanted to meet him, and this person seemed to know something about Patricia. He was from a high-ranking company called Alman Kido. Kido warned Saya that his ex-wife Vander Garat was looking for him. Kato turned out to be the adoptive father of a girl named Sienna, the reincarnation of goddess Athena. Kato had seen Saya fight and witnessed his Cosmo awakening and now requested Saya to become the Pegasus Bronze Knight, convinced that this was his destiny to protect Sienna from those who intended to harm him. Not long after, Garad's warriors came and chased them. Kato and Garad had different views of Sienna. Kato tried desperately to protect Sienna, while Garad saw Sienna as threatening humanity. After that, Kato's assistant, Mylock, came to help them while Garad's warrior captured Dukrates. Luckily, Kido, Mylock, and Saya flood in a car, attacked by fighter planes that showered them with bullets. A confused Saya asked why the troops kept on targeting them. It happened because Garad detected Cosmo's power that Saya had previously released in the battle arena. While racing to avoid every attack, they finally escaped when they entered a tunnel. Saya demands to know what's happening but is knocked out by Mylock. Then, they took him to a safer place. Saya was eventually taken to Kido's mansion, specially used to protect Sienna from the garage. Saya and Sienna finally met and became acquainted. Sienna then handed a box containing a necklace to Saya. Before Saya asked more, he was invited to eat first. While eating, Sienna suddenly felt something and the sky turned utterly black. Sienna's body was seen emitting purple light, so Saya was worried and immediately called Kido. After Sienna calmed down, Cosmo's strength slowly disappeared and everything returned to normal. It happened every time Sienna emitted a Cosmo power. At the same time, Garad and several of her men came to the fight and his subordinate Nero was feeling the Cosmo power that Sienna had previously released in the fighting ring. With his Cosmo power, Nero was also trying to track Sienna's whereabouts, where he was sure that Sienna must be current with Sienna. Cassius, who was there, got angry and kicked them out. He was still annoyed because he had been humiliated by Saya before. He even dared to challenge one of Garad's warriors so they could leave immediately. Without realizing it, his opponent at this time was not comparable. Garad's warriors were equipped with armor suits to maximize the wearer's power. However, Garad sensed the persistence in Cassios. She then offered to recruit him as her man. Cassius accepted the offer from Garad to become one in exchange for getting revenge on Saya. Meanwhile, Saya, who was contemplating, was approached by Sienna. Sienna asked about what he was thinking. Saya finally told him about his long-lost sister. Sienna convinced Saya that he should train under Marin the Silver Knight to use his Cosmo to protect himself and Sienna and to find Patricia. Currently, Garat was transferring Cosmo's power from a man into her body. She has been doing this for years because that's the only way to be stronger and survive. 
A little information about why the Scar's hand was always covered was that her hand was destroyed by the power of Cosmo Sienna, which appeared when Garad was carrying her. Meanwhile, thanks to Sienna's advice, Sia met the Silver Knights to train his Cosmo powers. Sia must first pass through a cliff to meet the Silver Knight. After passing that hurdle, Sia finally met a Silver Knight named Marin. Confidently, he showed his necklace and was sure he could easily beat Marin, who turned out to be a woman. Even though he had demonstrated the chain, he still needed to be considered a Pegasus Knight because many other youths had come there and claimed to be a knight for that. Marin also gave a simple test and told Saya to destroy a small rock. Saya was still confident in his abilities, however, he could not break the stone, the one in his hand hurt significantly. Marin then took the small stone and broke it in front of Saya. On the second attempt, Marin asked Saya to focus more, and it still failed. Marin said that Saya almost succeeded, but something bothered him. He was asked to solidify his goals as a Pegasus Knight. Did he want to protect Sienna as the goddess Athena, or did he want to find his long-lost sister? For days, Saya continued to train with Marin. Marin duels Saya to lure his Cosmo out. Marin then took out his Cosmo, which was able to destroy the wall stone and repair it again. Saya did not give up and continued to follow the training Marin gave. Saya eventually gained control of his Cosmo. His pendant glowed and unlocked his Pegasus armor, but he experienced a vision while bonding with the armor, revealing that Kato was there when Gurud took Patricia. Saya felt his training with the Marin was enough. Marin had detained Saya because their training was still very long, but Sia refused and immediately returned to Sienna's house. The night before, Sienna had a dream showing Garat's men attacking and defeating Saya. It also destroyed the earth and caused suffering to humankind. Saya returned to Kido's hideout to confront him, but Sienna took him away from the mansion. Sienna revealed that she had destroyed Garad's arms when she was young, forcing Garad to drain Cosmo from children with it to stay alive. Patricia was indeed arrested because Garat was after Sidia, but she was finally released when she discovered that Patricia had no Cosmo. At the same time, Sienna and Kido fled from that place and were forced to leave Patricia and the other victims of captivity. Gerard arrived at Kido's hideout after her subordinate Nero tortured its location out of Docrates. Saya and Sienna saw the Gerard plane heading to their house in the middle of the conversation. Saya invited Sienna to run away together, but Sienna refused because he wanted to save Kato. There was chaos at home due to the battle between Gerard and Kido's men. Mylock used a gun that could penetrate the armor of the Gerard troops. The newly arrived Sienna and Saya immediately joined the fight. Casinos, who saw Saya, took advantage of the opportunity for revenge. He attacked Saya brutally. At the same time, Saya could not activate his Pegasus armor while fighting Cassios, resulting in him being beaten unconscious. Gerard confronted Kido and asked him to hand over Sienna, but Kido refused. Kido set his estate to self-destruct to stop Gerard, and he died in the explosion. Sienna, unable to see everything, finally surrendered to Gerard. Sienna was knocked unconscious and captured by Garad's soldiers, and Sia failed to stop them. At the same time, Sia, who had just realized this, invited Mylock to save Sienna. But their plane was attacked so severely that Sia had to go down alone with complete armor to face Garad's men, including Cassius. Inside the base, the process of absorbing power was continuing, but Garad could not watch Sienna be drained of her energy and tried to stop the procedure. Nero refused and turned against Garad. Gerard also tried to fight Nero, who was a knight. Not long after, Nero and Saya proceed to fight but are interrupted by Sienna, who has almost completed her transformation into Athena, causing widespread destruction. Goddess Athena rose and destroyed everything around her. With Saya's help, Sienna regained control but felt unconscious afterward. All their strength was absorbed again, and Sienna managed to return to her body. When they went inside, Sienna saw Gerard, who was weak, so she used her powers to restore Gerard's body. Sienna and Sia left the area with Mylock, Nero watched them go. Sienna revealed that the old gods were returning, and the Knights of the Zodiac would be needed to stop them. She decided that they would need to find Patricia. So, what do you think about this movie? Leave in the comments below, and if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps, and see you in the next video.